So we heard the sad news on Wednesday that Billy Graham had died at the age of 99. Uh, if you don't know, Billy Graham was somebody who preached the gospel, so he told people about who Jesus was and what Jesus had done, and he called them to put their trust in Jesus. Uh, it's interesting seeing how the fallout from that kind of worked out. I saw on my Twitter feed there was a there was a girl who was obviously full of hatred towards Billy Graham. She said that she hoped he burned in hell and that he was a, a piece of SHIT. Uh, it, it's fascinating, isn't it? Because actually Billy Graham had spent his whole life testifying to a gospel which said that he himself uh, and me and, and everybody else all deserve to actually burn in hell. Uh, but he, the gospel was, the good news was that Jesus himself had died in our place for our sins on the cross to take away the punishment that we deserve. Uh, so, so the fact that she said that she hopes that he burns in hell, uh, well, yeah, you know what? He, he, he was uh, very aware that he deserved that, but he was also very aware that Jesus had died to rescue him and he was grateful for that. And in light of the fact that young ladies like that exist and in light of the fact that we live in it, in a world which is so apathetic towards that gospel. Uh, I'm just wondering uh, when people are going to step up and actually be faithful to that gospel. Uh, when I look at most church situations, when I look at, across the kind of Christian culture more broadly, uh, what I see is mainly people just trying to have a nice church experience. They just want to turn up, have a little dose of religiosity and then go home and go about their lives. Uh, and what I don't see is people stepping up, taking hold of this gospel, recognising that God God's on a mission, uh, that he's calling all people everywhere to repent and put their trust in Christ, uh, and that salvation is available if people will actually come to Jesus. I just don't think people are taking that on board at the moment. There's such apathy among so many Christians. So on the one hand, we can uh, we rightly mourn that Billy Graham has passed away, but on the other hand, we need to take up the challenge of a guy who for decade after decade after decade was proclaiming faithfully that salvation was found in Christ alone.